I haven't been back for a little bit, and I really apologize. Um, I do have the Mommy Scenario tag um, filmed. I just need to upload it. Um, it's kind of all over the place, though, because Paisley was like, we're not running around, so I might refilm it before I upload it, or I might just give you raw footage, so I don't know. But I wanted to make this video because Paisley had an appointment at the ENT today, and um, if you guys have been following us for a little bit, you would know that Paisley's had some ear infections in the past, and um, stuff like that. She's just had a lot of them, and um, she gets that from me because I had them a lot when I was younger, and I actually had tubes when I was her age, and so um, her doctor referred us to an ENT, which is an ears and nose throat specialist, and, um, and if you have also been following me, you know I work for a hospital, um, so I decided to take her to the ENT that is affiliated with the hospital that I work at because I have worked with him before in surgery because um, I do work in the surgery department. Um, so um, I do, I have worked with him before. So I decided to take her to him. And so we went today for that, her first appointment. And he looked at her ears and he said that they are perfect right now. There's nothing wrong with them, no infection, no fluids, nothing like that. So um, we decided that we are not going to go ahead and do this ear, the ear tube surgery yet. We decided we're going to wait until she gets another ear infection and then he's going to evaluate the infection and then we will go from there once he sees how her ear infections go. Um, and then, so basically she probably won't get tubes until she has another ear infection and hopefully she won't get one so we don't have to get them. Um, we don't just chose to do that because I don't want to put her under anesthesia right now if I don't have to, so we decided that, and then they did a hearing test. They did two different hearing tests on her. One, they tried to put the headphones on her, but she wouldn't let them. She didn't want them on, so um, they did it through the speakers, which she passed, but um, when they do it with the speakers, um, they can't tell which ear is hearing the sound. So, um, we had to do another one where they put these little like, probes in her ear, and it would, like, play music, and then, um, you have little hair-like cells in your ear that make their own noise and bounce back noise when things are playing. So, they measure, that measures, like, um, what's it called? It measures the fact that you can hear. So they did that on one side, and then they did it on the other side, and she passed it with like flying colors, perfectly fine, so she can hear. Um, so basically now we just wait till she um, gets an ear infection, and if she does, then he, she will go to him, and he will evaluate it, and then we will, once it clears up, we'll get the tubes. Um, and then, uh, if she doesn't, then she doesn't, then that's great. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update, because I was kind of nervous about it but it's really nothing to worry about and I'm so glad and she did so well like she's never acted so good at the doctor before so I just wanted to do a quick little um, video about it so um, yeah um, otherwise I'm gonna try to film a few things today and have them set up to pull, go up the rest of the week um, I hope I can get a haul in because I do have some I've been buying a lot of stuff lately so um but I love you guys, and I will try, try so hard to be back this, doing this stuff a lot more. Um, so if you guys have any questions about ENTs or if your child has ear, um, ear infections or tubes, um, just leave it down below, and we can talk about it. All right, bye, guys.